Hey. She say, do you love me? I tell her only partly. I only love my bed and my mom. I'm sorry. So guys, right now I'm taking a bow for you guys because all of you guys have been telling me to get a new um, intro. And I finally did it because you guys were like, it sucks. It's, it's a really bad intro. And so I changed that intro. I hope you guys liked it. And I got a new outro too. But enough of that and let's get to the point of the video. So in this video, I'm going to be teaching everyone in the world or actually no, whoever's going to watch this video on how to use Wondershare Filmora. So if you guys use it, if you guys use this, you can e use it for anything. Like you can use it for um, to upload videos to YouTube, to Vimeo, to like Instagram, to Twitter, to Musical.ly, or to like whatever you guys want to upload it to. You guys can make it into a CD and whatever, whatever, okay? Import over here. Oh no, wait. So import, then media files, and then go over here to like, I have my stuff, like my introduction was right here. So that's my intro right here, and I'll put it in over there. And wait, guys, let me grab my headphones really quickly so um, it doesn't go into my mic. All right, I got my headphones on, and I'll just put play this so you guys can hear how it sounds. Hey, hey. She say, do you love me? I tell her only partly. I only love my bed and my mom. I'm sorry. So guys, that's how uh, my intro actually sounds. And basically what you have to do is when you get your clips here, you basically just drag them down here. And yeah, that's how you basically do it. So that's like the first thing in all my um, videos. I have an introduction. And then after that, I have my gameplay. So what I do, I click import again. Then I click import media files again. And then I go to where all my um, gameplay is. So I go to videos and then captures and then... This is where I have all my gameplay. So just for this video, I may, I got some Forza gameplay um, a little while back. So yeah, here's my Forza gameplay that I have. And I'm just going to click. You have to click on it and then drag it down below. Sorry, I have the hiccups. Sorry. All right. So now that you got that done, you can like move it wherever you want. You can like overlap and stuff. And it's kind of glitching, guys. I'm sorry. Okay, so sorry about that. It was a technical technicality issue so basically there's their gameplay so it goes like this i have my intro she say do you love me i tell her only partly i only love my bed and my mom i'm sorry so as you guys could see um as soon as my intro ends it goes straight to um my gameplay but if you guys don't want that you could add a transition like this so you click on transitions over here in this box and then you could there's like um 178 transitions that you guys can have and there's many of them, so just for this, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a simple one. Uh, let's use like doorway. All right. So if I put this in, and I'm just gonna put it there, and let's look at the transition now. Hey, my mom, I'm sorry. So, so if you guys saw like um there was a little transition below, just not like immediate. I'll show you guys again how it looks without the transition. It kind of looks boring and plain. Hey, my mom, I'm sorry. So, see, it looks plain, but it looks better with the transition. So, say now that you did that, and say you went out of face cam in the middle of your video. So, say you're, like, over here. Oh, yeah, and to get around, you just have to move it. Like, you can just move it like this, or you can just click. And if you want to make it, like, bigger to edit, just, like, go see my mouse over here. Just go over to this corner, and you can make it bigger, or you can make it smaller. It depends. It's the same thing. Or you could just, like, slide like this. It, it doesn't matter um, how you guys want to move it. So after that, say you guys are like in the middle of the video. So you say right here. And I pause the button. And to do that, just click the space button to pause it. And after that, all you have to do is click the scissor button right here. And it's listen to two. And this is just the basic video editing. It's not like all the, um, everything that like you need to know. Like not... It, it's not like all the advanced editing editing. Um, what was that editing? Okay, so it's not all the advanced editing tools uh, It's just like the simple ones for beginners So basically that's how you cut it and now if I want I could add something else like um, but you know Let me just get something really quickly So All right, so Right now, I got a picture of Blake Griffin. He's an NBA player. And so I just want to add it. For, I don't know why, for no apparent reason. So I put it in the middle right there. What I, what, what I could do is just drag it down below. And I could just put it right there between the two cracks. And look at it now. 
So see his picture just appears out of nowhere. And if you want to delete it, just right click and click delete. So basically that's how you do it. That's like the basic editing tools of it. And that's how you split stuff. And if you there's a lot of other buttons over here. So just click if you want music on if you want music on your video, just click music. And you can use any of these. These are royalty free, so you don't have to put anything like in your description of your video that like you don't have to give credit to them or anything. So just put so if you want to use music, let me just use one of them on the top. Just take it and then bring it to the bottom, connect it with it. So it would look like something like this. So that's how uh, it would look with the music on it. And if you guys want to add like some text, just click on text over here. And I don't really use any of these for my text. I just go to subtitles. Then I could drag one of these in. And um, I could click on the text credit button. Just double click on it. And then I don't know why. It just comes in like French. I actually have no idea what language this is. And then for this, you go over there and you delete everything. So if you guys want to add text, what you can do is like just, uh, let me, let's just say hi, all right? So I say hi, and I'm going to make it like really big. So let's like increase the size of it. And yeah, that's how it would look. high on it right there the big high and that's how you add text and the last thing I want to do before I end this video or the basic video editing tools of this um filmora is the elements and overlay so if you guys want to add like some black and white if you guys want to make it look like an olden times movie let's go like uh go to filters and then click like type in black and white and it's gonna look like this now. It's gonna look black and white. So see how it like just changed black and white? And there's a there's a lot of them. There's 149 of them. You could choose as many as you want. So say now that you're completely done with your video and you want to upload this to YouTube, or if you want to just use it while like you're going camping and want to play it in like a TV or something like that. Actually, you know what? There's like no. What am I saying? There's. I don't think anyone's going to bring a TV to on um, camping trips. Well, okay. So now that you're done with everything, it's to go to export. So click on that button over there. And you'll get a lot of options on what you want to do. So Filmora lets you get videos in, like, all of these different formats. But most of the time, people will use MP4. And you can just save it on your computer. Or if you want to upload it straight to YouTube, click on YouTube over here. And they actually allow you to sign into your account add the title, add your description, add your tags, um, and then you can just do whatever you want, guys. It's really cool. And also, if you guys um, want to save it on your CD, click on the bottom on the CD, and you have to, like, put in your CD and stuff like that. So it burns to the D DVD, and if you, well, most of the time, people are either going to bring it to YouTube or they're just going to save it on their um, hard disk. So to do that, um, just name the title. So I'm just going to do, like, um, Explanation. And the settings that I'm going to use is, um, this is like 4K quality. You could change it to like 60 frames per second. You can change it to any quality you want. And it will export. And a clip like this, which is like, what? It's like 2 minutes and 15 seconds. It would take about like 10 minutes for it to export. And yeah, I, I really hope you guys like this video. Before we actually go, um, or I end this video, Thank you guys so much for getting me over 50 subscribers. I think just last Monday, I had 51 subscribers, and now I got to 58. So thank you guys very much for that. And I hope these film more videos that I have are going to help you in the future. And yeah, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And comment down below if you want me to do more of these film more videos. And yeah, bye.